In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to train your dog to close the door. This is actually a very simple trick that most dogs can learn to do pretty quickly if you're using the right technique and breaking it down into small enough steps that the dog is successful. So let's take a look at how it's done. First thing you'll need is a dog who understands how to learn using a clicker and treats. For those of you that are absolute beginners, you will want to spend some time associating a clicker sound with a treat for a few short sessions until your dog starts to expect a reward every time they hear a click. One important rule in clicker training is that you never click without giving your dog reinforcement. So every single click should always equal one reward. This is so that we can maintain the value of the clicker sound. Before we go on with the video, I wanna give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Bark Food. Bark Food creates and delivers high quality and breed focused products that can support your dog's diet and even make training a whole lot more fun and effective. They offer a variety of meal toppers, supplements, treats, and more. In our recent shipment, we got these delicious treats that my dogs love, meal toppers that you can add to your dog's kibble to make their food more enticing, and this puzzle enrichment toy that you can stuff treats into that offers mental stimulation. So if you'd like to try Bark Food, you can use the link in the description and be sure to use the promo code POSITIVE30 for a 30% discount off your order. And now, back to the video. The next step is to teach your dog to touch your hand on cue. The nose touch is a fantastic behavior that can be a foundation for so many different skills and behaviors that we teach our dogs. One way to teach this is to hold your hand out in front of your dog's nose, and the moment the dog sniffs or touches your hand, you click immediately and you reward the dog. If your dog does not do this readily, you can shape the behavior by rewarding approximations to the touching bit by bit. Here's an example of how you might do that. Now, once your dog is consistently touching your hand every time you hold it out in order to earn a treat, we can introduce a cue or a verbal command. To do that, you will first say whatever word you want to use and then present your hand. Touch. Touch. Next, we will work on transferring this behavior to a door. Sometimes it can help to put a post-it note to your hand and get the dog used to the idea of touching the post-it note on cue. Now, once this is reliable and easy for your dog, you can move the post-it to a door that you want to work with and give your dog the same cue that you've been using. Touch. Touch. The benefit of this is that they can make the connection between, oh, I'm supposed to hit the post-it, and then once the same post-it is on the door, it encourages them to offer the same behavior. If your dog struggles with this, keep your hand nearby or go back to rewarding a few times for just looking at or even moving towards the target. Now this can be a little bit tricky for some dogs and will require you to be patient, so take your time with it. First. We want to reinforce the dog for doing even the tiniest movement that results from that nose touch. Door. 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 Over time, you can see if your dog will push a little bit harder and wait to click until that happens. Door. Yay! Good job! 
One way to encourage your dog to push a little bit harder is to toss the reward away from the door. That might make your dog want to chase after the treat and it activates a higher energy response, which can help along in training this particular task because we want the dog to come back at the door with a little bit more force. Now, once your dog is putting some more force and able to push the door with their nose even a little bit, you're going to keep the door almost closed as close as you can get without actually shutting the door and reward for shutting the door all the way. Door. Close door. Yes. Close the door. Yes. What we're doing here is we're taking the last little segment of the behavior of closing the door and we're really reinforcing that very well so that when we add things before it, the dog already knows how to do this final step. From here, we can move the door further and further back until it is all the way open. Remember to give your dog the cue to close the door and make a real big deal out of it the first few times your dog does this completely. The final step is to start generalizing this behavior to different doors. You can also transfer the nose target behavior to cupboards. You can also teach your dog to close drawers. And you can even take it further and teach them to close multiple doors for a single reward. After that, continue working on this behavior and giving the cue when you're at a greater and greater distance from the door itself. And that is how you teach any dog to close doors on cue. And if you're following the steps in this video carefully, you're also practicing good training habits, like using reinforcement correctly, timing your marker to be really precise with the behavior we're after, and training small steps in the behavior chain. And if you learned something new today, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can catch the next video. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.